Hello again. This is Mike Harvey in Fredericksburg, Texas. I am a president of Cimarron Firearms Company, which uh, is a company initially I started it as a little retail store in Houston in 1979. It was my hobby. I was building black powder uh, muzzleloading rifles, authentic ones. I, I, I built one from a Hawk and Blueprint and I still hunt with that rifle today. Anyhow, that got me into the gun business and so my hobby, I started a little muzzleloading shop and then uh, closed it down later when we started Cimarron Firearms to get into the wholesale business. But anyway, uh, while we were in this little store, it's called Bigfoot, in West Houston in 1979, probably about 1980 or 81. Uh, you know, a local friend of mine, he was a lawyer, and uh, he uh, was coming into the shop in and out from time to time, and he'd look at the old guns, and, and he, he loved to come in and talk about the guns, and one day he brought in a, an engraved 1911 that had a gold-plated hammer and a gold-plated trigger. And uh, he had seen earlier a an engraved Henry rifle that he liked a lot. And Henry was, you know, uh, the most expensive rifle that we had in the replica line. And and uh, he, he liked it, so he brought this gun in to see if we'd trade the Henry for this uh, engraved gun. And uh, he showed uh, my manager, Charles Hudson. Charles worked for me for 40 years. And, uh, you know, Charles did all the trading. He was good at it and he knew everything there is to know about all of the guns. So anyway, Charles looked at it and thought that it wouldn't be a bad deal. I was gonna show you the gun. It's kind of nice looking gun. It's 1911, I put the pearl grips on it. And uh, anyhow, it's fully engraved. And then the funny thing about it, it's the, the, the serial number is not stamped in it. The serial number is hand engraved onto the gun. So I'm not sure that this number is not the sheriff's badge number or something, but uh, it's number 20569, which that's a pretty early, well, 1911. Beautiful gun with a little bit of gold on it and uh, once belonged to a Texas Ranger, a famous Texas Ranger and a more famous sheriff of Fayette County. But anyhow, back then, back to Charles and, and, and the trade. Charles made the trade and a couple weeks passed and the gun was locked away and and, uh, <clears throat> and the lawyer, our friend, came back into the store and he was like just beside himself because he had traded that gun away. Because he went back and talked to the lawyer that he got it from. That other lawyer said, you should never have traded that gun. And I think this is like 1980 or 81. And shortly after that, uh, this guy wrote a book, The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. Well, that book was written about this sheriff, Jim Flournoy. So now we had this really nice gun that belonged to Jim Flournoy. And uh, our lawyer friend wanted it back. So. Charles negotiated with him for a day and made a little headway. He still wanted it back. And I said, well, let me just talk to him. And, uh, and uh, Charles told me that, Marty, that our friend <laughs> had, had been uh, looking at this Bowie knife. as a handmade custom Bowie knife by a Texas knife maker. So anyway, uh, we had it in a case and it was like a $1,500 knife. And uh, so I asked if he just felt that he didn't get what the gun was worth or did he want it back for personal reasons because he 
wanted it because of the gun's history. And he said he just felt like he sold it too cheap. So back then a nice Colt went for 350 or 400 dollars. That that Colt today goes for three or four thousand dollars. So anyway, I uh, I uh, asked him. I said, "Well, uh, Charles said that you like this Bowie knife. I'll trade you that Bowie knife and the Henry rifle for your pistol." And he said, "That's a good deal." He said, "I would do that." So, <clears throat> so anyway, we ended up trading about three thousand dollars worth of goods for for this gun, which uh, we've had in the safe for all of those years. Anyway. Uh, the sheriff became quite famous. Well, he was already famous. He was inducted into the Texas Ranger Hall of Fame years and years ago. <laughs> then he was, I think he was Sheriff of LaGrange uh, for 37 years and uh, bought that gun just in a nick of time because another year would have passed. That gun would have been untouchable. That is the story behind the best little 1911 in Texas. And this is it. I'll try to get it up where you can see it. I don't know what that looks like on screen. Mm -hmm. You got a good shot of it? Yeah. Not a bad little Ranger gun. And uh, we're very proud to own, uh, you know, a piece of Texas history such as this gun and uh, one of these days, we'll make you a replica of it where everybody could, that wants one could have one. Anyway, uh, this is Mike Harvey, and that's about the end of this story. I just run out of words, don't know what to say. Uh, anyway, enjoyed talking to you today. Uh, thank you for uh, paying attention to Cimarron. And uh, have a good one. Bye.